Welcome to your weekly productivity forecast. I believe this is our 21st week and I wanna talk about a couple of things today. First, I just wanna say thank you. Thank you so much for your support for Organize 365. Thank you for listening to the Organize 365 podcast. We hit 23 million downloads last week. And thank you for investing in yourself, in your transformation and getting all the way organized so that you have more time to do what you are uniquely gifted and created to do, which gifts the entire world. So thank you, thank you, thank you for your time and attention. I mentioned that this is the 21st week that I've been doing these weekly forecasts for a reason. When I started this all the way back in February, I did it for a couple of reasons. One, I've just always had this idea that we kind of need an adult circle time. Like you remember in preschool, you would sit there. Well, you might not remember, but you did. You sat in preschool or in kindergarten and a teacher would do the calendar and you would learn a lot of your math facts through doing the, cal the calendar, counting to the first 100 days of school, all of those kinds of things. But we as adults, we need to know like, what is the energy? The energy right now is like, a flat water like there there's there are no waves there's no flow like we're at the end of june going into july july is the bermuda triangle of months this six weeks that we're in from now until the first week in august is like there's no waves it, there's no flow there's just no energy there's nothing you can like grab onto and then move forward faster so we here at organize 365 are trying to create a flow for you and perfectly positioning those customer appreciation days the second week in june was not an accident we didn't wait until the end of june which is actually the end of our fiscal year when you normally would do an end of the year sale we did it early because i knew you would need that flow in order to get something done this something this summer, get something done of significance, get a meaty goal done. So thank you for participating in the sale and thank you for having a meaty goal. I will continue to try to make a flow where there is no flow actually in the energy so you can get further faster. Now, I want you to give yourself some grace because it is really hard to knit, to make marked progress at the end of June and July. So if you find that like after a 4th of July weekend, you're just not feeling this project anymore, I want you to set it to the side, guilt-free, don't worry about it. But I'm going to continue to try to prod you and move you ahead because I know when we get to September, you will be so glad you did. All right, I wanna talk a little bit about our trains. I haven't talked about our trains for a while. And this is part of why I love doing this weekly forecast is because we could see the two different kinds of work that we do and a very, kindergarten and memorable fashion. So these are our work trains. And we started 20 weeks ago when our work trains were going into the station. And I mentioned, sorry, I'm gonna circle back. I started doing this one because you need to know the energy and the flow. But second, I started these forecasts because we were sending too many emails and I wanted to just send one email and I wanted to be able to do just a little bit more teaching in these emails. And if you go all the way back, which you can in the app, because we have all of the forecasts in there, you will see, I didn't have my little trains in the beginning. I didn't have my calendar all set up. I, I just said, I'm going to do this for eight weeks. And as I start to get a flow, these forecasts will become more and more predictable as they have. Okay, so these trains, this is your work train, like your paid work, what you do to earn an income or what you spend the majority of your nine to five time doing. You may be um, a professional volunteer, you may be a stay at home mom and there's no like dollars attached to it, but it is your work. So this is your like work work. This is your productive home solution train. This train runs on a three time per year trimester schedule. Your work train runs on a quarterly schedule and knowing that really helps you with when do you plan and how do you execute on your plan. So the workbox train, we just had workbox planning day on June 7th and some of you bought it during the sale when we had it on demand. So enjoy watching that. It has a six week replay. It's not for sale now. Sign up for September if you wanna do it next. But you'll notice that these trains, and I had to buy a lot of trains to get this, <laughs> to get you to see this, have the different colors. These are the colors of the slash pockets in your workbox. Green, blue, purple, pink. And up here they are purple, or pink, purple, blue, green. Now, the reason why we have two trains and they're running in reverse order is because this is a CEO or a business owner or a solopreneur train. This is an employee, a W-2 employee of a CEO or a manager. You do the same work 
in the reverse order. So I'm gonna spend a little bit of time talking about this today because we really focused in the last Workbox Planning Day on this train. Often I focus on the employee train, but we focused on the business owner, the solopreneur, uh, the person that is a team of one or managing a team. So these colors, pink are ideas, purple are your projects or your customers, blue is the team that you need in order to get those projects done, and green is the administration or the finance or the profitability of the company. So a CEO, a business owner has ideas. Eventually those ideas become a product or a service that they offer and they have customers or they have leads and they become customers. Once they have customers, they themselves are the team that deliver on that service or mail out that product, or they have a team that does it, and then they make sure that they are profitable. If you're an employee, your train is 100% reversed. You go and you are employed by someone and you get a job description, and this is your administrative job. You, you produce the service, you, whatever it is, you have the checklist, whatever is on your contract as your job description, the, the deliverables that you will give the employer in turn for receiving a paycheck. You work with the team that that company has developed in order to meet the service or the product that they produce, and then you get to use your pink in order to optimize and streamline this entire process. So you are delegated your responsibilities, you work with a team to meet those for the customer, and then you have your unique input in how that is done going forward. One of the unique things about the Organized 365 Workbox Planning Day, which you have told me, I didn't know this, is that I do this. Like initially it was Steph who told me that this is how an employee runs a train because this is how I always run a train. And I taught that for a while. And then it was another one of you, Christine, who mentioned me and she said, okay, I, I do corporate training and I've, I've never seen this taught. This we teach all the time in corporate. This, I've never seen anybody be able to teach that and teach it simultaneously. So Workbox Planning Day works for you if you're an employee or if you are a business owner. FYI, if you're the business owner, you're actually also the employee. You're running two trains, which is why I have 18 million work boxes myself. Now, if we scroll up a little bit higher, you'll see that this train is in the station. This train started in the station on June 7th for Workbox Planning Day, and it will not leave the station until the end of June when we have Implementation Day. So Implementation Day is when I go through my Friday Workbox and I update it for the next, um, quarter and I go through my planner from Workbox Planning Day and we take those goals and the plans that we set and we make them real inside of our, our work boxes. Now coming up in August, we are gonna do this for the home. This is weird, it's something that only I do and the, the level at which I do planning at home is like definitely PhD level. We have a brand new workbook coming out. You probably saw that a lot of you pre-bought it during the sale and we walk through all of these pages during planning day prep and planning day workbook we're up uh, and planning day planning day so prep starts on the thursday before so the thursday before we meet for two hours and we deep dive into your sunday basket clean it all out get it as light as it can possibly be and we do a select number of pages in the workbook then friday we're off and then saturday we meet for four hours and we do the remaining workbook pages you could buy just prep or just planning day if you want, but together they really are the answer for planning your next trimester. And you can see our train is gonna be here in the month of July. And then towards the end of August, over here, look, look how teeny tiny its little station is. It's only one weekend long. Actually, truth be told, it's about two weeks because the, the Sunday before planning day, you should do your Sunday basket for two weeks. You should get it as clean as you can, go into prep, clean it even more, then go into the planning day and spend the rest of that weekend getting ready for the next trimester. So that is our planning cadence. This is the school year that you're on as a person that lives in a household and as a person that makes an income. Can you do workbox planning day as a stay-at-home mom? Of course, you can do anything. You can do anything you want in Organize 365 and you'll have ways in order to apply these. But right now, we're in June, July. There are no planning days. There are no holidays other than the 4th of July. There's no waves. There's no energy. So in order for you to meet and exceed your goals, you are going to need to grab onto the podcast, grab onto these forecasts, and 
use the energy I'm giving you to move forward faster. If you ask your friends what they're doing, they're vacationing, they're at the pool, or they're doing nothing. Like people don't set goals in the summer that are big meaty goals, but we here at Organize 365, we do. So starting next week, I'm gonna start talking to you about the back to school blitz. That will be coming in the middle of July. That's another big wave of energy we're gonna be creating here at Organize 365 that is free, that you can invite your friends to participate in with you. And also when we come back in July, I have a couple of new fun products I've been developing over the last few months that are going to get your organization for your fall just, just over the top. It's going to be so much fun. I can't wait to share those with you. Thank you again for participating in customer service days. Uh, I'm looking forward to hugging those of you who are coming to Cincinnati for the paper organizing retreat this weekend. And I'll be back next week with your forecast and your preview for the month of July.